well, looky here. Where's that? Okay. Okay, the box, I'll admit, those boxes are not that heavy. It's probably 65 pounds, not a big deal. However, it, just, it seriously just died off. But the wind was brutal, and it was blowing, I was carrying the box up on my shoulder, and the wind's blowing right towards like the side of my head, 20 mile an hour, and I'm just like almost falling over at this dang box because the wind, man, that was, that was rough. Okay, so, anyways. We have a little bit of a project that I want to get done on the Big Stinky. This is one that I've been looking forward to. What is up, Loud and Proud Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. A project for the Big Stinky today. Yes, yes, I love this truck, guys. I really, really do. And by the way, there's a lot of people that think that I like this truck way more than my dually now, and that's why I want to put the dually up for the giveaway. Hopefully somebody will take that so I can keep this. Guys, I, that's not the reason. I didn't offer up the dually hoping that, okay, hopefully I can convince people that the dually is gonna be a better truck, so they'll take that and I get to keep this one because it's nicer. That's not at all the case. I Like still, my favorite truck to drive is still the dually. If I keep the dually, I'll still be the happiest truck owner on the planet because I love driving that thing. The five speed is just hard to flip and beat, okay? I love that thing. Now, if I keep this truck and somebody you know, picks the dually, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. I can buy another five speed dually. It's not a big deal. Um, but it's just one of those things where I offered that truck up as an option because I couldn't go out and buy two trucks right at, right at the time. Okay, that's just too much money to spend in one month. That's how you get yourself in trouble. Especially with the giveaway coming up, I have to have money set aside for inventory that's starting to come in now. So, you know, with that truck, the reason I even got the automatic is like, okay, I've already got the five speed and not everybody wants an automatic. So I'm like, how about I just buy an automatic truck and I already have a five speed, even though it's a dually and some guys complaining that it's a dually and they, they have a five speed or an automatic to pick from. I know it's not ideal because one's a dually and a lot of guys don't want the dually, but a lot of guys do. But I, I did my best to give the two options, you know, an auto and a five speed. So that's, I mean, I, I tried my best guys. <laughs> if some people aren't happy about it, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's, it's a truck, you know what I mean? If you don't want the dually, sell it, you know? That truck's pretty much rust free. You can pretty much sell that truck and pay for a nice SRW five speed if you want, you know? It's, it's, it's up to you. Once it's yours, it's yours. You do with, you do with it as you please. Uh, but anyway, so those of you who are stopping in newer and you don't know what I'm talking about, truck giveaway, you're like, what is this guy talking about, truck giveaway? So many questions still every day. I have a video on my homepage, please go check it out. It kind of goes through the gist of how it's gonna work. Essentially, the way it's gonna work is approximately on or around June 1st, the giveaway will start. And no, that does not mean that's when the drawing happens. That's when the giveaway starts. So we're gonna start selling merch on that day for the giveaway. And the giveaway should end the first week of July. It'll be over and then we will select a winner or a couple of contestants and then narrow it down to one winner. So that's, that's the way it's gonna work. And basically the way it's gonna be is every $20 you spend on merchandise, whether it be keychains or as I just got in an insanely huge shipment of yesterday, we've got lanyards that have Loud and Proud and Team LMP on it, because now I have two channels. I don't know how many of you guys know that, but Team LMP is always kind of how I've had my brand marked, is with little hashtag Team LMP, and that's what I use on all my Instagram posts. Um, but anyways, all that aside, I've got all the merch coming in and stuff, and basically just every $20 you spend is going to get you an entry to win a truck. Now I'm gonna have decals like that, you know, Team LMP and Loud and Proud, um, you're gonna have hoodies, t-shirts, I mean all kinds of stuff. You're gonna have all kinds of cool stuff to pick from. Tons of keychains on the way, different color options. So that's the way it's gonna work. Hopefully that explains something. Anyways, we're gonna get to installing an exhaust system on the Big Stinky. I don't know how many of you guys know, but basically this truck is a stock exhaust back to about the back of the cab, right there. And then they basically cut a cat I think that's a cat. They basically cut it to where it measured five inches, and then they just married up a five inch exhaust, a straight five inch exhaust to that, to go out the back. However, I don't know if you saw my video on Team LNP, but essentially on that video, I told you guys, I'm gonna put a different exhaust system on it just because I want a true four inch from the turbo all the way back, not a three inch, you know, or three and a half to a five inch. I just want a true four inch, just like nasty red. And then what I wanna do, we're gonna get the truck pulled forward here and we're gonna to start to dismantle the exhaust that's on it right now and get the new one put on. Get her fired up! We're 
gonna get to installing the exhaust system. You guys have seen me do these before, but I'll just open up the kit and give you a quick little glance. We're just gonna kick on the time lapse and get her done. Here's how your kit comes in the box. MBRP stuff is always, I mean, they all ship pretty similar, but their stuff always comes very nicely packaged and stuff. The only thing you gotta watch is if your box is extremely damaged before you dismantle it, take pictures of it because, man, like FedEx and UPS and those guys, like they, they'll drop kick and karate slam and they'll just throw these things around like nothing and destroy them and then drop them off and be like, oh, here's your package. Sorry, something happened to it. You know what I mean? Like, like totally careless when it's not their stuff. So just make sure you take pictures of it if it looks damaged before you open the box. Um, no, this is not an MBRP sponsored video. That's not why I'm saying that. I'm just saying because that stuff happens and crazy things happen. But um, anyways, I will also leave a link to this exhaust system in the description below for you guys to check out. This says it is for 94 to 2002, 59 coming. So if you guys are needing one, MBRP is always, always the way to go. And this one was only 265 bucks on Amazon. It was like some huge discount. So link in the description if you want to try to get it while it's the price that it is. I don't know if that's normal, but it said it was a said it was pretty heavily discounted right now because I've seen them go for a lot more than that before. But uh, just lay out your exhaust kit on the ground. Make sure everything's there all the way out to the tailpipe. Lay it along the side of your truck if you want, like down this alleyway right here, just to make sure every pipe is there to where it looks visible from the front all the way to the back. And yeah, otherwise, once you take your exhaust out from underneath the cab and you start cutting it up and stuff, you can run into some issues. Just make sure you check before you completely dismantle everything. So anyways, we're just gonna set up the camera now, get to installing, and hopefully it goes pretty smooth. Okay, so aside from my face being covered in soot and grease and grime, uh, we did get the exhaust put on. This system was pretty easy to put on. Their, their exhaust systems are very easy to put on. You pretty much just, you hook it up to the downpipe flange and that's the most difficult part, which really isn't that difficult anyways with extensions and you know impact tools. Um, but then you just basically line up your pipe and then just hang it all up in there and it's good to go. Now, I didn't put on the tailpipe, which is sitting in this box because I have something I'm gonna put on the end of there, but this is still gonna be part of it. However, you're just gonna have to wait and see. If you saw the video over on Team LNP, they got to see what I'm doing to this truck. It's not an axle dump. It's not your typical eight inch tip that's right out by the tire. You, you're just gonna have to wait and see, but it's, it's pretty cool. So I, I think it's gonna be pretty sick. So I've got um, some steel here to make a, uh, to make a hanger because it's gonna be a little bit custom the way it's gonna be set up. You guys are just gonna to have to see. It's, it's been done before, so I'm, this isn't the first time it's ever been done. However, it's gonna be really, really cool in this truck, especially since the tires should be in here within a couple of days. I finally got confirmation that they're like halfway here, like halfway across the country on their way. So it shouldn't be more than a couple of days. We should finally have our stinking tires in here and then we can get these wheels in that box, wheels and tires mounted up and balanced and get the alignment done. And then, you know, then that the next part should be in here as well. So. Super excited for this. It's just gonna tie all together. You guys will know why I did it once it happens. I'll show you. But that's why I didn't connect it yet because I don't want to, you know, you know, tighten this all down on there and then I have to take it off and reposition it. It's just making a pain in the butt. A lot, a lot more problems for the next install. But this is where the exhaust is right now. It's just basically axle dumped right back there. So yeah, that's where it's axle dumped. But guys, just take a moment to appreciate how clean this truck is underneath. They even bed lined with the bed and cab off underneath the bed and all the panels underneath so that they wouldn't rust out. They literally had a lift at their house and so they had the whole bed and the cab lifted off of the frame to do like a bed off um, swap and stuff. And they, they had every panel underneath um, since it was a rust it was rust free when they had done that to the panels they, and they just, yeah, they sprayed them all and cured them. So that that's... The extra, it's the, it's the small things that make a huge difference in a truck and the, how long it lasts. I had to close the barn door because it was starting to pour rain outside. It was open for like two seconds when the rain started and it just got brutal. Now that button doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to go from the outside to open it up. But we are going to get the barn door opened up here so we don't, you know, smoke ourselves out in here and suffocate. And then we are going to give this thing a start up. I don't know how much difference it's gonna sound, from the system that was on it before, which is just the factory, and then the other 50% of the exhaust was just a five inch, but it's gonna sound different, so pretty excited. I 
kind of revved it when I started it up, just to make sure you got that nice quick startup. It sounds better, it sounds a little bit more clean. Here's the system that was on, it was so made. Um, I mean, it's, way to, it's one way to get, you know, vent it, you know. But they just basically had the, the factory exhaust all the way to this three inch that they connected, I chopped it in half, but all the way to this three inch. And then they took out the cap, which is off, and then they basically measured it back to where it would be perfectly five inches open to where they could marry these two up together by welding. And then basically it was just a screw pipe all the way up to the bumper, basically. And then it had like the old, the old turn it down style on it like that. So that's all they had done there. Definitely some one wheel peel going on. I'm sure that's probably normal unless you have the rear end either welded up or some kind of locker in the rear. You know, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's not something I normally do. I don't I don't usually do any burnouts. But stay tuned for what I have coming next. It's going to be cool. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be crazy looking. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be cool. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go take this truck. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna take this truck or the dually. I gotta go run to the post office. I gotta go ship out all the keychains that were ordered the other day. And I have to go ship out the person who won the intake horn he already got a hold of me um, I did the video of letting you guys know who won the intake on the other channel there goes the six seven man that thing is loud I'm going to go run by the post office get all that stuff done and then I'm going to get this video edited up and up to you guys so anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that like I said the giveaway winner was announced on the other channel however he already got back to me it was a guy out of Fort Lauderdale Florida who won the intake horn so um, that is shipping out today what more content would you guys like to see keep in mind expenses because sometimes I'm like what you guys like to see next and you guys list off like thirty thousand dollars worth of stuff to do it doesn't work like that but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed that smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family and i catch you guys in the next video also don't forget to subscribe to the new channel it's at 4040 some subscribers right now definitely be cool if you went over there and subscribe so thank you guys so much catch you guys in the next video peace